Hey, my name's Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Have you ever had one of those days where you feel like you're just on a treadmill? I think we're fighting a losing game. <laughs> so, was able to get a lot of things done this week. Very excited about that. All of the bottles for the 1,000 subscriber, and I like to say member, 1,000 members of this, plus members of this channel, all the winning bottles are now in route muling to different people. <clears throat> I can't not wait. One thing I will ask is if you're a winner, send me a picture. I want to see a picture of you with your winnings. I love that kind of stuff. And I'll reach out to everyone and ask them that individually as well. <clears throat> so looking forward to that. Also, blind number three, packed up everything for blind number three, started getting those into people's hands. Very excited about that in the future, hoping to do that on a live, but we'll have people that are, are in the YouTube community, uh, David at Whiskey Bank, you're going to have Baker Drinks on there with Laura and Troy, Matt at Whiskey Wisdom. On top of that, a lot of the people that have been a part of this channel, and, and I truly appreciate that. So definitely looking forward to that. Dave Vogelsang will be in there. Terrence will be in there. Um, you know, you'll have Jesus in there for the Bloody 81. Um, so a lot of neat things out on top of that. You know, we're going to we're gonna have Mark on there as well. So a lot of people are going to be involved in this. Love doing stuff like that because I think it just shows you some of the different takes people have on things not just my take but other people's takes so maybe it helps develop things that you may or may not like so that thousand subscriber thing that was a lot of work to get stuff done but you know what do you do when you're a little insane you say well what do we do we got to get the 1250 now so at 1250 if you're a subscriber hit that point i'll be giving away either an Eagle Rare or a Buffalo Trace 1 liter, depending on what that person would like. So looking forward to that at 1250. That's in the future. Um, I want to point out a couple things that are on the, on the desk today. So I've been looking for Widow Jane Decadence for a while, and I had not been able to find it locally. I had some a member of the channel reach out and say, hey, I see this. And we were able to, to work out a trade I got Robert, thank you very much for that. I got Robert a, a good bottle, and he got me something I've been really, really hunting and looking forward to. So thank you very, very much. Uh, on the side over here, local guy Dan got me some amazing samples uh, down the road from Anniston, Alabama. Definitely looking forward to digging into some of these, doing some reviews on these in the future. And last but not least, Dave Vogel saying, so Dave, you always treat me so well. I, I truly appreciate that. Um, this is rare character. This is a liquor barn store pick. This is a rye whiskey finished in Amburana cask. I love rye, love Amburana, love store picks, never had rare character so this is going to be something new for me dave even teased me as i was thanking him for it uh, and said i hope it's high enough proof for you <laughs> because it's coming in at 109 and i'm like it's going to be great um russell did have the opportunity to do the red line the other day uh, this is a red line and amber on a cask uh richard the ghost decided he uh, he wanted that video better than i guess the public i thought it was very good um, I think that, you know, we, I mean, we talked, your wife had mentioned Red Hots. I kind of get that Red Hot thing. I kind of get the cinnamon toothpick thing, but as it opened up more, as I let it set more, it definitely does mellow out. Um, really, really enjoyed that. I wish Richard hadn't have gotten, that, gotten that from us, but uh, thank you very much, Russell. So today, going over the Jack Daniels, um, this is the Bonded. This is 100 Proof. Uh, I did not pop the cork on this. As you notice, there's some gone. I, I've already sampled out a bunch of stuff on a few bottles that I got the other day, and I haven't even tried them yet, but I wanted to get them into some people's hands. So, And I was told specifically on this pin hook from uh, one of the guys 
uh, out at, at the bottle shop. He said, I don't believe in a neck pour, but this one does when you let it open up a little more, you know, fat, past those first couple pours, it does make a difference. So definitely looking forward to trying this. So this cork, I really liked it. I'm hoping it'll pop just as well as it did the other day, but if not, it'll be okay. It'll just be one of those failures on TV. Not bad. Not as good as the first couple of times it opened, but still not bad at all. So from what I'm told on this right here is that this Jack Daniels bonded 100 proof, and I got this for like 36 bucks. Um, this is replacing the Jack Daniels 90 proof rye. So this will be their more, this will be their standard offering going forward. Being a bonded product, it's four years old. Um, definitely, you know, I, I like a good rye. And at $36, it's very reasonable in price. Uh, I know they're still somewhat allocated. Um, you know, these are harder to find at one of the bigger stores around here. They didn't get a whole lot in. I just happened to be there the day they were unloaded. Right on the nose, I, I get some spearmint right off the bat. I get a, a, some sweetness on there. It kind of reminds me of a, more of a honey than anything. Get a little bit of an herbal note, getting some of the rye bread type of thing going on there. So it's got a nice nose to it. Let's see what it's got on the palate. That's a good rye for 36 bucks. So you do get some of the rye spice um, right off the bat on that. It's got a nice bit of spice to it, which I like. Some people kind of get put off by that rye spice on it it's got some very nice sweetness to it so definitely enjoying the sweetness on this <clears throat> it's got some good oils to it you get a nice even though it's only 100 proof get a nice little kentucky burn so i get like a refreshing experiment coming up on the back of the palate um, and get a little bit of the oak on there. So you get a little bit of a refreshing thing going on with the dryness of the, of the oak, but then you kind of get that minty thing on the back, which kind of, uh, kind of refreshes you a little bit. At least that's what I get out of it. That rye spice is still nice. It's not punching me the way it did the first go round, but you're getting some of the pepper, you're getting some of the rye on there as well. I get like the faintest, faintest, like uh, almost like a dried pineapple thing going on too. Not overpoweringly sweet, just kind of like this pineapple flavor. getting a little bit of that herbal rye thing coming on on the back so when I think of rye when I when I classify that as kind of a, a more of like a rye bread type of thing not the fresh like rye seed that when you crack into it it's a little bit sharper but more of a, a muted type of a rye like from a rye bread type of thing so getting a lot of different things on here <clears throat> Getting a little bit of like a honey for the sweetness on this too. A little bit of a, like a dried pineapple type of flavor. Getting some mint. Um, definitely getting some of the rye spice. Getting some pepper on this. For 36 bucks, again, on the back I told you, I was also getting some of the oak. 36 bucks, this is a very good rye. Um, I'm going to have to do this in a blind with some other ryes at that same price point now just to kind of see, you know, which under $40 rye is the best. You know, I'll put Sazerac in there. Um, I got some others that I'll put in there, and I'll have to do a rye off to see which one of these ryes. But for $36, I think this is a good pour. I think it's something that, you know, I'm because of the depth of my lineups, 
I may not run out and grab it, but if I'm trying to find a rye at a reasonable price, this would be a rye that I would look for. And I think they do, do a very good job on that. Jack Daniels, to me, this year has stepped up their game more than anyone out there. You know, there's I love some of the craft distilleries, but it's really neat when you see the dynamic of someone that's a staple in the industry up in their game and, and it shows that they're they're listening. We're they're not just old number seven anymore. You know, they're twice barreled. You know, they're the Jack Daniels barrel proof single barrel. You know, they're their their bonded series. They're their triple mash. Um, you know, so they've really done a lot to really up their game. I'm really excited about the direction that Jack Daniels has gone in the last year and a half, two years. I think they've really done a great job. Jack Daniels 10, Jack Daniels 12, you know, a lot of, not a lot of neat offerings for the bourbon community. But other than that, I hope you and your family have an amazing day. Thursday night football tonight. Looking forward to that. My son gets to play uh, in his first uh, high school football, well, not high school, but it's a junior high school football game. As far as he plays in the band, he's a trombonist. Um, and so he'll be playing that tonight. Looking forward to seeing him with the family tonight. Um, you all have a fantastic day and God bless.